Hello everyone and welcome back to Civilization 6, our let's play as Macedonia. Let's continue where we left off. Alright, what do we got going on? Right, we're building another heavy horseman over here. Our commercial hub's done in three turns, that's good. Our campus is going to be up. Alright, making some progress here. Okay, now what? That is the question. Part of me says an encampment. That would be pretty good. Actually, that would probably be better. Hmm. But 39 turns. I don't know that that's the best, best thing we could do right now. I'd love to repair some of the infrastructure. I guess what we could do is get a builder and get, you know, if nothing else, we could get some farms and things behind the city so it can continue to grow. Because it's pretty much been, you know, essentially dead for growth forever. Yeah, let's go with a builder, actually. I know that's going to seem like maybe an odd choice, considering we need as much firepower as we can get, but... We're going to fix our firepower problem here when our economy improves. Glad I moved that, uh, that unit over there. Trade route increased. Okay, so that means our commercial hub's done. Economy's looking better. Not great, but better. That's right, they heal up instantly. <laughs> Good luck taking that city. <laughs> 
because of the natural wonder. Oh, that's awesome. You're completely... Yeah. Well, you're never getting through there. <laughs> I hope they keep sinning swordsmen. That's, that's awesome if they keep doing that. Yeah, please attack. Please attack that city over and over again. Your cooperation is appreciated. All right, things are looking up for us a little bit. Silly barbarians. Don't you know natural wonders are for mouths? <laughs> That's awesome. Well, that didn't exactly work out for you, did it? Yeah. Actually, I should hmm, cancel that. We need to get another trader built, too. We need to make this like the military mecha over here then. If we can always have our units just sitting there and getting healed up. <laughs> this is probably going to be like our, our last bastion of hope. We're like, okay, fall back. Like I can see later in the campaign, we're getting our faces smashed. This is where we're running to. We're like, no, we're not going down without a fight. Yeah, this is great if they just keep attacking over here. That's awesome. We could put another city right here. It wouldn't be too bad. Easy to defend. And now that I'm thinking about it, well, we're looking at trying to set up a, you know, at least a core area that's defensive. An encampment, say, like right about here-ish. And then an encampment from this side right here. That could be side by side. Pretty much cut off the southern part. Yeah, or we could put an encampment right over here next to this water. And then sit a unit on it. <laughs> That'd be pretty good, right? Yeah. Alright, well, I'm encouraged by that. My morale has been lifted, and I look to the stars. Or at least to the next turn or whatever, you know. Okay, so. Attack. Go ahead and attack. I know what somebody's going to say, why don't I move this unit out to attack? Like, well, the swordsmen are going to come our way anyway. No reason to send him out and risk... risk anything.
I mean, fortify. He's gonna automatically heal. So awesome! Yeah, I saw you over there with that crossbowman. I saw it. Knowledge of strips has advanced considerably. Okay. In democracy, it's your vote that counts. In feudalism, it's your count that votes. <laughs> Do I want to change policies? Um, newly trained builders gain. You know what? Actually, potentially, I do. Newly gained builders gain two additional build actions. Let's go for that since we're kind of in a building deal right now. And then, I think we switch from city defense to unit combat strength when fighting barbarians. Yep, switch back to that. Makes the most sense, I think. Oh, musket men. Sure. Sure. I mean, because why not, right? It's ridiculous. It's just absolutely ridiculous. All right. Well, we're going to go for mercenaries because we want this policy here. Discount on all unit upgrades. Plus, we get an envoy. So, that's a good deal. Who needs food? You need food? Really? All right. But we just got you that wheat. What's the problem here? Not city production. Alright, so lock that. Well, we'll improve this. We'll get you a farm on that hill there. That'll help. Well, I guess technically it's not a hill. It's like a cliffside or whatever. And now they have mounted. <sighs> I'm having a fun time playing this for the most part, but this is a little frustrating when I don't feel like I've got any chance at all. Like, I don't know if I got a bad start or what, but it sort of feels like the deck is stacked against us. Like, I'd like to do this. I want to do this exact same setup with the exact same empires and the whole bit. And just, you know, I'll play this out, but I'm going to do it again, like, you know, maybe with a better start. And see how much difference that makes. Let's see. Um, Let him get attacked. Actually, he'll heal up right away, so we're still... Okay-ish. I need another unit for right there. I basically need to surround the city. Do I already attack with both archers? I did. Okay, so finish this thing off. I was holding off on the promotion on this unit because I was like, hey, it's probably best if we let it get attacked then use its free promotion, but we don't need to do that since it's going to heal. Heal up. Oh, 
weaken them a little bit. There we go. Nice. Okay, so the market's done. Hmm. Industrial zone. Yeah, right here would be best, but I, I didn't really want to go over the farm there. But that would be the best. Luxury resource, we've got commercial hub right there. Well, if people wanted to have me, uh, you know, wanted to see me fight stuff, they've definitely gotten to see that in this campaign so far. <laughs> We've been fighting non-stop since we started, basically. Oh, you killed the unit. Oh. Damn you. Shouldn't have attacked. I should have just fortified. I was overconfident in how tough this thing was versus that other cav unit. I remember earlier I said <laughs> episode or two ago, I was like, well, we're not going to wait for mercenaries to do our upgrades. The hell with that. We're going to upgrade as soon as we can. Um, and yet ha and still don't have like the money to do it. <laughs> like we can't upgrade our units because we're too broke. But yeah, actually, we, we are waiting. Yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, how are we up here? 22, okay. The more science intervenes in warfare, the more will be the need for engineers in the field armies. In the late war, there were never enough sappers at any time. So no, we've got iron, we have iron, a couple different places we can get iron, but no niter? There's some niter right there, okay. Well, here's some source up here, we could settle this, this actually looks pretty good, you got stone, you got niter, you've got wine, you've got a source of mercury, a couple of rice, some fish out there, dyes, and this would be a nice spot I think for a city too. Okay, choose research. Knights? Yeah, that makes sense.
that's going to be enough to finish you off. Yes, all right, good. Lumber mill. What do you know? There's some more swordsmen coming towards us. <laughs> How did that happen? It's impossible. Just stay there. Let's check up top. Everything looks okay. We've got eight turns for mercenaries. In which case, looks like we'll have enough money by the time we have that to upgrade like two crossbowmen. That's what it looks like. And then a couple turns later we can upgrade one of our units to a knight. So yeah, I mean we are making progress, albeit slow. And I don't even want to know, like, like how bad are we behind on world rankings? Like, we're sixth place here, which is kind of funny. But I have no idea, because I've got the other things disabled, but I have no idea, like, how we're really doing, like, science and all that other stuff. I guess it doesn't matter since we don't have that victory type, but in terms of just wanting to know how far behind we are, I guarantee you it's pretty significant. But if I can survive this nonsense, maybe it'll still end up being kind of fun. Dig our way back out. I mean, this constantly fighting stuff actually has been kind of fun. I just wish there was a little bit of reprieve in between so I could sort of quote unquote catch my breath type deal, but we'll make it work. Yeah, just keep shooting them. They get XP for it, so thanks. I'm working on your deal, okay? We're complaining about housing and stuff. I'm, d I'm working on it. Just do your job. You just do your job. <laughs> Don't you worry about what I'm doing over here. Get another farm. Oh, I want to do that so bad, but I'm not going to. Three more turns. Three more turns. We could do some upgrades. Oh, hi. المنتصر الدائم الذي لا ينتهي ملكه اوكي اليك تحياتي يا صديق العزيز understood understood okay so we met someone else two builds left on this huh well, I think for now, it probably make more sense to just send it over here to do some more improvements. We met him up here somewhere, huh? Okay.
one turn. All right, let's see. Choose production. Yeah, I think an encampment right here with a unit on it that will automatically get healed every turn is a pretty... That's pretty awesome. So <laughs> we're going to do that. Whether or not it helps us later on or not, it's kind of a different story. Niter right here. Niter right there. Is that in range? It is in range. Okay. Okay, good. So we are now getting... Two wheat, one cocoa, one dies. Okay, that's nice. And your bonus resources behave like luxury resources. I don't think we have any bonus resources yet. That's a bonus resource. No, we don't have any yet. Bananas is bonus resource, right? Yeah. Alright, so we can snag those at some point. That'll give plus amenities to this town. Or city, excuse me. Okay, well here's what we're going to do. In the next episode, we'll come back... We'll finish mercenaries, we'll change up our policies, and we'll do some upgrades. And then maybe, just maybe, we could go on the offense? I don't know, I don't want to get crazy and commit to that, but maybe. <laughs> anyway, I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, consider hitting that thumbs up. Thanks so much for watching. Till next time, I'm Mal, and I'll see you later.